Welcome to the T680 Next Gen Sleeper. This is a 76 inch high roof sleeper equipped with the driver's studio. From the passenger seat, you can swing the table around, creating a nice workstation. There's even an LED light in case you need to do some paperwork. The sleeper has several LED lights located throughout. Or, if you'd prefer to relax, this truck has an optional TV mount which can support up to a 28 inch flat screen TV. You can rotate the TV around to view from the passenger seat or from the bed. The sleeper also includes a premium audio package with a 320 watt amp, 10 inch subwoofer, and eight speakers. You can also get an Epic View pre-wire for satellite TV. For eating, the driver's studio features a factory installed fridge and space for a customer supplied microwave. The 1800 watt inverter includes a shore power connection and four standard 120 volt sleeper outlets to power a range of devices, such as microwaves or gaming consoles. And of course, this wouldn't be a home away from home without a factory installed 8 inch luxury pocket coil mattress. When it's time for sleep, you can drop the curtains and pull shut the sleeper curtain for a peaceful sleep. Sound deadening material in the sleeper minimizes exterior noise. For storage, the driver's studio comes with abundant space, including a full-size wardrobe for hanging clothes, multiple storage drawers, and storage space under the bunk. The under bunk area can be accessed from the exterior via the toolbox doors. This specific sleeper also comes with a cargo shelf above the lower bunk for even more storage. You can also spec an upper bunk in this location. Depending on what your truck is specced with, you may have the Kenworth Idle Management System, a battery-based air conditioner system. You can also spec a diesel-fired heater to ensure that your sleeper is always the ideal temperature. These systems greatly reduce idling time while allowing the truck to maintain a comfortable temperature. You can control the heating and cooling from the conveniently located climate control panel right next to the bunk. If your truck is equipped with both Kims and a diesel heater, I recommend setting the system to auto and setting the temperature to your preference. The system will do the rest, heating and cooling as needed. You can set the temperature to be anywhere between 60 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. The digital LCD display makes it easy for you to control the unit and it includes onboard diagnostics and battery monitoring capabilities. You may see a warning on the display stating to check the filter. Don't worry, you can perform this check without taking your unit in to see a dealer. Simply raise up the lower bunk, remove the filter, and wash it off using water. Allow it to dry before reinstalling. If you see any tears or holes, then replace the filter. To reset the check filter reminder, press enter for three seconds. The benefits of the Kenworth Idle Management System are enhanced when paired with Auto Start Stop. The Auto Start Stop system is a battery management system that monitors battery state of charge and will idle the truck to recharge batteries. It can also be specified to monitor fuel temperature and start the truck when the fuel temperature drops below a designated threshold. Auto Start is not an automatic system. Because it starts the engine, the system needs to be armed to work. Auto Start has several system interlocks that will prevent the system from starting. The hood must be closed, the parking brake must be set, the neutral gear must be selected, no check engine lights, no stop engine lights, PTO switch disabled, and EOA switches disabled. To arm the system, make sure all the interlock conditions are met and the key is in the off or accessory position. It's recommended to set the key to accessory if you are staying in the truck so you can continue using accessories while the auto start system maintains the batteries. Hold the switch for three seconds to arm the system. Hold the switch again to disarm the system. You can also disarm the system by pressing the brake pedal, handbrake, or clutch pedal. The system is integrated into the digital display, so you will see an alert in the dash before the system activates. Once the system is armed, if the vehicle door is opened at any point, the horn will honk twice before the engine starts to warn anyone around the vehicle. To prevent this while sleeping, you must disengage the system and re-engage it once the doors are closed. The auto start system will turn on based on the state of charge shown in the dash. The default threshold to trigger auto start is 50% state of charge, but this may vary depending on the programming on your truck. Remember, the auto start system must be armed to work. When used correctly, it can reduce idle time and ensure the truck is able to start the next morning. That wraps up our tour of the T680 Next Gen Sleeper. Kenworth offers our drivers the world's best home away from home.